humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and today I'm bringing you yet another Amiibo video. Man, what happened? You can go back to my first Amiibo video and you can see that I initially only had plans to buy a couple of Amiibo figures. I was mainly only going to get the ones that were based on my mains in Super Smash Bros. Now look, look at this. Look at it! Look! Look at this! It's getting out of control! I promise I don't have an addiction! Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, what can I say? They look good, I like using them, and I love the idea of having all of the most popular and iconic Nintendo characters have purchasable figures that I can line up on a shelf. Will I purchase any more Amiibo in the future? Well, if Nintendo can manage to use them effectively, then I guess so. I mean, I really only plan to purchase like four or five, and with each Amiibo video that I've done, my collection has only grown more and more, so I don't even know anymore, man! So, which Amiibo are new to the collection this time? Well, there are three figures this time around. Two of them are from the most recent wave, and the third one is from an older Amiibo wave. The two figures from the most recent wave are Roy and Ryu. In my previous Amiibo video, I mentioned that I would likely get these two, and as I mentioned earlier in this video, I initially planned to only collect Amiibo that were based on my mains in Super Smash Bros. Well, as I discussed in another video, sorry to keep referencing all my other videos, I actually did main Roy in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I also mentioned that I would purchase a Ryu Amiibo to show my support for his inclusion in Super Smash Bros. and to show my support for the Marvel vs. Capcom games. So I figured that it made sense to have him in my collection. The third amiibo is an Ike amiibo. I first used this amiibo in one of my walkthrough videos for Yoshi's Wooly World. My friend, Jughead870, who has appeared in this series a few times, generously sent me one as a gift. Now that I have some other amiibo to show in this series, I figured that now was the proper time to include this new Ike figure in my Smash It Up series. Thank you very much once again, Jughead870. With these three new amiibo, I wanted to try and do an episode of this series that was similar to my previous Amiibo videos. In my previous Amiibo videos, I've trained each figure differently. In some videos, I did one-on-one -on -one battles, and in others, I did a variety of eight-player battles, and in others, I did a bunch of two-on-two-on-two -on -two -on -two battles, and in others, I did four-on-four -four battles, so what's the plan this time around? So similarly to when I received my Sonic, Ness, and Pac-Man Amiibo figures, I wanted to have a variety of four-on-four -four battles for this video. I want to try and train all three of my new amiibo at the same time while I team up with them. However, I shall start and end the video with free-for-all matches. And before my amiibo are fully trained, I want to do a variety of two-on-two-on-two -on -two -on -two battles. For those two-on-two-on-two -on -two -on -two battles, there will be three teams. The first team will consist of me teaming up with one amiibo while I play as the same character as my amiibo. The other team will consist of the two other amiibo that I purchased. And the third team will consist of CPU players that are the same players as the character I'm playing as. I hope that makes sense. After I've done a few of those, I shall train my amiibo off screen, and once they're all trained up, I'll team up with them in some four on four battles. And the opposing team of four shall consist of my other amiibo figures that I've used in previous videos. Ultimately, this should be a fun session that includes team matches and computer players and eight player and six player craziness. So those are the plans for this amiibo video, but what about future amiibo videos? I don't even know what to say anymore. There are only three Smash characters that have yet to receive an amiibo, Cloud, Corrin, and Bayonetta. And I don't know if I'll purchase any of these, though the Bayonetta one is somewhat tempting. I don't even know how many future amiibo videos for Smash It Up I'll do. You guys may recall that I've had other Smash videos that have just featured my amiibo in a match or two, but this may very well be the last one with a heavy emphasis on them. If this isn't the last one, then the next one's probably going to be the last one. Who knows? Again, I could still include my Amiibo in my future videos, but I don't know how many will just directly focus on Amiibo like this one. I didn't even know that I would be making this many videos based on the product line. If Nintendo plans to release new figures that catch my interest, and if Nintendo plans to create new and engaging ideas with the product, then I guess that it's obvious that I'll create more videos based on the figures. But I guess I'll just have to wait and see what Nintendo's plans are and how things will play out. For now. I've got to train my brand new Roy, Ike, and Ryu amiibo, and I plan to do so with a variety of hectic team matches, and some free-for-alls at the beginning and end. Thank you, and enjoy, humans! Whoosh! Oh,
humans, I'm Yo Shiller, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Brothers. Smash it up! Okay, it's time for another one of those amiibo videos, which means it's time for a really lengthy episode. So I strongly encourage you guys to check the timestamps in the description in case you want to jump to a specific match in this video. It is long, I get it. I know a lot of people don't like watching long videos, but I try to compensate by allowing you guys to jump around the video. I am not offended if you choose to do that, because the fact that you took the time to even watch this video means a lot to me as is. Anyway, first things first, before I start battling against the amiibo, I have to tap them in for the first time and name them. So let's do things in a specific order. I got the Ike amiibo first, so he should be named first. I'm going to make him green because I figured, hey, green is a color that is commonly associated with me because Yoshi is my favorite video game color and default Yoshis are green. Now, how about the name? Well, we did have a president here in the United States of America who was named Ike. Eisenhower, so I'm going to nickname this amiibo as Eichenhower. Ah, Eisenhower, you know, even though I'm American, I don't know every single thing about every single one of our presidents, but I do know that Ike Eisenhower was a good president. Aside from having the iconic campaign of, <laughs> iconic campaign of We Like Ike, he was also in charge of making sure that uh, black students could attend white schools, and he is the reason we have freeways. So, I do not mind naming an amiibo after him. Okay. <sighs> and I'm sure he did more things, but those are some of the most <laughs> iconic things. All right, up next, let's go ahead and get Roy in there. Roy, okay, so I do not have the best nickname in the world for this, but I figured, you know what, maybe I don't need one. I'm gonna go ahead and make him green. When I played Super Smash Bros. Melee, I, common, I most commonly used the green Roy, even though when I first started playing as Roy, I used the red one. Nowadays, I use the green one, so I figured I should co uh, I should put the amiibo in the same costume as the one that I used in Melee. As for the name, well, his name is Roy, and Al is also a name, so I thought I should call him Roy Al. Like Royal, but he is Roy Al. I, like, like, okay, I don't know. You can also see that he is Roy Ally, because he's an amiibo and we're doing team matches in this video. I don't know. I thought it was a clever name. Also, this is psyching me out because he's facing to the left when most amiibo characters face to the right. It's cool, I guess. It's, it's, it's psyching me out. Anyway, alright. You guys don't care about that. So, here we go. Here is Roy Al. I'm going to save him back to his amiibo. And then the third amiibo that I had to tap in, last but not least, is the Ryu amiibo. And I am super excited to have this. When he was announced for Super Smash Bros., I was... Definitely excited. I know I don't really sound that excited right now, but right now, I am more concerned about getting my amiibo in here. So, I had a lot of different names I could I considered for Ryu, but a lot of them, like, don't fit. Oh, by the way, costume, as you can probably guess, I'm going to choose this yellowish-greenish one right down here. So, we're going to do that. We're going to be the green team today. All right, we're good? Okay, cool. Now, how about the name? Well, I wanted to call them a few different things, like, uh, Give It Your All was a name. Uh, New Challenger was considered a name, but, like, they didn't really fit... So, I'm just going to name him this really boring name. Like, you know how, you know how Roy was Roy Al? Oh, I, I should have planned this better. All right, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's, uh, I can, no, it's, it's not going to be as fun if I make it one word. Okay. This guy's name is Shore, and his last name is Yukin. This is Shore Yukin. Get it? Like Ryu's... Famous move, the Shore You Can. This is Shore You Can. I, I know it's not creative, okay? I had other names I considered. They didn't really fit. Uh, and a lot of people took the good ones already. Like, someone had a nickname of Ryu, like R I I space U. And I mean, that's clever, but I don't want to copy someone else's nickname. So here we go. Shore You Can, because I'm fairly certain nobody else has this nickname. Anyway, here we go. Those are all three of my new amiibo for this video. Nicknamed, ready to go. Just gotta save it. There we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, I almost. I thought I, I. I was afraid I. I pulled the amiibo away too quickly, but we should be good. Okay, now they're all nicknamed. So first things first, I gotta get them ready on the battlefield. Except we're not gonna be facing off on battlefield. We're gonna face off on the Miiver stage. And just for convenience, I'm gonna go ahead and load eight player smash because as soon as this match is over, I'm gonna set up some team matches. So. Uh, we're gonna put on a seven minute time limit like I usually do. The only items that should be enabled are gonna be smash balls on high. I figured I wanna teach them to go after a smash ball, just in case I, I put them in tournaments later. All right, so I'm gonna start off as Rosalina. Usually when I play as my mains, I always start as Rosalina because ladies first. As for the amiibo that I should be tapping in, I'll tap them in in this order. Roy, 
Ike. I said Ike, there we go. And Ryu, because I figured Roy was introduced in Super Smash Bros. Melee, Ike was introduced in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Ryu was introduced in Super Smash Bros. 4. So, Melee, Brawl, 4. Got it? Good. Okay, so, we're gonna start off with a free-for-all. We're, we're gonna go to the Miiver stage, and then whenever this match ends, the matches will be team battles until the very last match of this video, which will also be a free-for-all on this stage. And you know, I like taking use of the opportunity to play on the Miiverse stage because you can only play on it offline. So any opportunity that I have to play on it, I would like to take advantage of. And it's it's just cool seeing the Miiverse art that people draw. People draw some really cool things on this stage. And this stage has good music and it's bright and colorful and it's a it's a legal stage, you know, it's battlefield with better ledges, so no real complaints really. I know people can put some like naughty and inappropriate pictures on the Miiverse stage, but I'm just gonna hope that everything today is good. I mean, we got some good artwork so far. There was, there was lots of Rosalina art. That's actually really cool to see. Oh, and then the music playing is the Dark Lord theme from Find Me. That's a song that I very, very much like. That's why I have it enabled on the stage. Okay, recovered properly. I self-destruct as Rosalina a lot. That's okay. Oh, we got a, we got a Luma. Okay, I can't pay too much attention to the background art because stuff like this is going to happen. All right. Ah, what's a god to a non-believer? Well then, ah, there we go. There we go, yeah, let's get that Rosalina artwork splattered on the background. Lots and lots of Rosalina artwork. That's what I like to see. It's actually really cool artwork. It's cool. Ah, all right, come on, guys. Okay, you're leveling up. What is, what is this? We got some memes back there. We got the meme. Ah, oh, we got the meme of the one guy from the Emperor's New Groove doing the okay hand gesture, and we got Ryu doing it. All right, I said I wouldn't pay too much attention to the... Miiverse pictures. You guys can look at them. It's a little hard for me to look at those and play at the same time and make sure that my recording equipment is still going. So I'm just doing whatever I can, giving them a whooping. Oh, that didn't, that didn't take you out, huh, Ryu? Alright. Uh, nope. Hang on a second. Let's try that again. Just kind of spamming my side A or all my aerial attacks. There we go. Let's see. That's what I meant about me self-destructing, but I made it. Oh, uh, here we go. A smash ball. So, fellas, I want to teach you to use your final smashes. Now, you all have different ones, including you, Ryu. Ryu! You have two final smashes, so you just have to use them accordingly. All right, hopefully he just knows. There are certain things that are hard to teach Amiibo. Like, I don't know if I can teach the Ryu Amiibo to do its Street Fighter commands. I don't know, I was never really able to teach my Little Mac Amiibo to use the KO Punch. And I have a hard time telling my Rosalina Amiibo to like, to synchronize the Luma. But whatever. Anyway, let's see. Some stars, all right, you know, whatever. Okay, ah! Get out of here! I will defeat you. I will defeat all of you. There we go. Some Roy pictures. I guess the Roy Meavers page might be a little weird. Uh, or maybe it won't be. I don't know. I guess I don't even know what to expect of the Roy Meavers page, if I'm being honest. Okay. There we go. <laughs> the wind is better. All right. Ryu was sadly out, and that's a shame. Part of me was hoping that Ryu would actually win this battle because for those that don't know, and I've made comments about this plenty of times in my series, Ryu's victory theme is my favorite victory theme in the game. I think it's super catchy. So I admittedly do not mind losing to Ryu because it gives me an excuse to see his victory theme. Also, it just occurred to me that that's the very first stock that I've lost in this entire match. Okay. Oh, Ike is, uh, Ike is guy. That's what that said. That said Ike is guy. Well, he is most certainly of the male variety. I know it didn't say Ike is guy, but it's like, come on, man. We just had all these cool artwork pictures and whatever in the Miiverse stage. Why you gotta post stuff like that, man? All right, here we go. All right, come here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> well, it's not reused victory screen, but it is a victory screen that shows me as the winner, and I am okay with that. So, I'm not gonna lie. I had a feeling that none of my amiibo were gonna win that free for all, but I think it's a good way to get them all ready for free for all type matches. Okay, now that that free for all match is done, it's gonna be a lot of team matches from here on out. So, for now. I'm going to do a bunch of two on two on two team battles. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to team up with one of these three new amiibo. I'm going to play as the same character as whatever amiibo I'm teaming up with. The other two amiibo that I'm training will be on their own team. And then the third and final team will consist of level 9 CPU players that will be the same characters as the one I'm playing as. So right now I'm teaming up with Roy, right? That means the CPU players should also be Roy. Got it? So if I were to team up with Ike, I would play as Ike, and the CPU players would also be Ike. Okay, we're good. 
Now I figured since this match will heavily emphasize on Fire Emblem characters, I may as well play on a Fire Emblem stage. And Castle Siege does support six players, so we may as well play on it. Not to mention that I have two songs enabled on the stage, the attack theme from Fire Emblem and the melee Fire Emblem theme, both of which have been associated with Roy in recent times, so I think that's even more fitting. Okay, anyway, team attack is off. Now, I will say, um, I really do like how Roy is in this game. I like playing as him. I'm a very close-up character. I like that his attacks have plenty of knockback to them. I like the way he moves in order to make characters hit the base of his sword. If you don't know, Roy's attacks are stronger the closer you are to the enemy. And, you know, I really liked playing as Roy in Melee, and I feel like he was nicely upgraded to Super Smash Bros. 4. I, I like that his attacks have been modified to, you know, make him more different than Marth. But I also like that, um, I also like that, like, you can still feel the Melee vibe. I like that a lot. Okay. I also am getting a little psyched out that I'm playing as Default Roy because my amiibo was already the Green Roy. And the red team already has the red Roy. So I'm not necessarily used to playing as the default Roy, but that's okay. Anyway. So, the only other thing I can really bring up is, like, you know, I mentioned earlier that, like, if if Ryu wins, I love seeing his victory screen. So if blue team wins, that'd be cool. I guess, if anything, I just don't want the CPUs to win. They're just here so that I can help my Roy amiibo learn more Roy tactics. Like, I don't really know what to say as Roy. Roy is a good character in this game as far as I'm concerned. Though, I think... Due to recent balance patches, Ike is actually considered the best Fire Emblem Oh, no, that's not even true anymore. Corrin's considered the best Fire Emblem character. I just died. Whatever. Oh, Ike! Ike, buddy! Oh! All right. I'm sorry. Corrin is considered the best Fire Emblem character. And then it's Ike. And then Roy, if I'm not mistaken. Though Marth got really good, too. I don't even know anymore. I think Roy's a good character. I, I really like him. I know a lot of people are really good as Roy. I don't consider myself to be really good as Roy, but hey, I don't think I'm too bad either. There are plenty of characters that I'm a lot worse with that are said to be really good. Like, Sheik's con Sheik is considered to be a really good character? I cannot play as Sheik for the life of me, okay? But I can play as Roy. Also, it just occurs to me that Ike and Ryu are out. Or Ike and Hauer and Shore Yuken are out. They're out. They're, they're full on out of here. So it's just, it's just a bunch of Roys. Ah, okay. I, so those Roy's were countering. I don't know how advised it is to. Uh, okay, I don't know how advised it is to use Roy's counter. Like if I'm if I was Little Mac, I I wouldn't mind countering because Little Mac's counter is really good. Roy's counter? I don't know. I don't think it's that good. You're not really supposed to use it, but I guess if you can pull it off, it, there's not really much harm in using it. Like like that Roy CPU just did. Darn it. I'm like scared to attack now because these CPUs love countering. I can try grabbing him, but like Roy's grab isn't that good. Alright, you- Ah! See, look look at me. Now you got me countering, and I'm ruining everything. I can't even play properly. Just gotta spam smash attacks! Ah, oh, alright. We each got one more stock. We can win this. We're gonna go to the safest transition part of Castle Siege right now. Man, I can't even, like- There we go! Let's say I can't even land a hit on them. There we go. Just getting some aerial attacks in there. Get some forward airs. There you go. Alright. Here we go. Come here, you. Get some forward airs! Get some back airs! Just get some aerial attacks. Come on! Alright, come on. And... That's it! And we both got the taunts in there. Awesome. Yep, my Roy Amiibo is certainly learning, and that's what I like to see. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, that's Roy. Now, I guess I may as well team up with my Ike Amiibo next. So, Roy and Ryu shall be on a team, or Roy, Al, and Shore Yuken shall be on a team. They'll be blue team. And then I am going to play as Ike because I'm teaming up with Ike. And then the CPUs... So also be Ike. Now where is oh uh, uh, Ike? Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's, this is this menu's been psyching me out for a long time. I don't know where anybody is except my mains. All right, Ike and Ike. Yeah, there we go. Just want to make sure you guys are color coded so that I don't get psyched out. So I don't get psyched out. I don't know. Okay, let's make you yellow team because yellow team is exclusive to six player and eight player Smash. Or I'm sorry, yellow team is a, is a local only team color. Additionally, I cannot pick the Coliseum stage, so I'm going to have to pick the next best thing. We're going to go to Midgar, okay? I thought the Omega version of Coliseum supported eight players. I guess it doesn't. Neither does the original version. So that's okay. We'll go to Midgar. This is a stage from a game that involves sword fighters and 
supposedly Ike's Final Smash is based off of Cloud's Omni Slash. And I mean, Cloud's Final Smash, which is the final, which is the Omni Slash, is very similar to Ike's Final Smash. So you know, I figured it's close enough. Okay, Final Fantasy and Fire Emblem are, are both RPGs in certain senses. Final Fantasy Tactics is a tactical RPG like Fire Emblem. Both franchise names start with an F, and both franchises dominantly feature sword fighters as their protagonists, okay? And I believe they both have dragons. So there you go. Okay. Now, Ike. Ike is considered to be a very good character, namely for his aerial attacks. His aerial attacks are strong and quick. His other attacks, though, are slow, but they are strong, and that's the, that's the balance you gotta find. Usually you can play as a fast character whose attacks don't deal a whole lot of knockback, or you can deal you can play as a strong character who is generally pretty slow. Uh, Ike is not really my type of character, and as you guys know, I did not initially intend to get an Ike Amiibo, but I'm very thankful that I have one. Especially since the Final Fantasy characters are not exactly easy to find in the marketplace. Okay. So, Ike, yeah, so he has a lot of strong smash attacks, and I love using smash attacks, and if I can land him like I did just there, it's totally worthwhile. Similarly to Roy, and like I mentioned before, you you don't really want to use counter attacks, especially with Ike. Ike's counter is no is no good, and his up B and side B are really only good for recovery purposes. His neutral B can be good, if I'm not mistaken, but with Ike, yeah, you really just want to use aerial attacks. I know I said not to counter, but I countered anyway. You really just want to use aerial attacks in whatever way is possible, and if you can use smash attacks, obviously use them. They're super strong, but they're slow. You know, they're slow, and you can get punished real easily. Like, I'm down to my last stock already. Thankfully, Eichenhauer still has two stocks remaining. Okay. Here we go. Ah. All right, let's get this. Let's get this. All right, I got it! There we go! There we go, I got three of you. Okay, Eichenhauer just chill there. Luckily for you, team attack is off. Cool, I got all three of them. Awesome stuff. All right, Ike. Eichenhauer, do not be afraid to taunt if you do something as cool as that, where you use a final smash and it hits three people. I guess that's easier to do in a team battle, but man, I love doing it. I love using a final smash on more than one person, let alone three people. Uh, doing that in a four-player match is particularly difficult, but you know, in a six-player match, yeah, if I can use my final smash on three people, I'll, I'll take it, man. All right, there we go. Just gotta get rid of the Ike CPUs. Man, Roy Allen, sure you can, are out. What a bummer. Okay, well, I, I actually think we'll be okay. We beat the Roy CPUs last time, and I consider myself to be better as Roy than I am as Ike, but I don't necessarily mind playing as Ike, because I can do stuff like that. There we go. Uh-huh! Uh, should I? Uh, okay, there we go. Go for the spike! Okay, well, I tried to go for the spike, but he flew upward instead. All right, let's try that once more. You throw him, I'll spike him. Um, well, I didn't spike him! But I did knock him out. Ike and Howard, you and I make a great Ike team. And hopefully that'll teach you how to properly compete in a team battle. There we go. Okay. So I've teamed up with Roy and I've teamed up with Ike. And now I have to team up with Ryu while, Re while Roy and Ike team up. So it'll be Street Fighters versus Fire Emblem characters versus even more Street Fighters. It'll be great. It'll be good stuff. Yes. Sorry for that random cut that might have happened a couple of seconds ago. I ran into a quick technical issue, but it should be solved now. Anyway, I'm playing as Ryu. I'm teaming up with Ryu and facing off against Ryu and Ryu while I face off against Roy and Ike. And I figured this is a Ryu-centric match. So let's go to the Ryu-centric stage or the Street Fighter-centric stage. Whatever. This is Suzaku Castle. Ah, of course, because nothing screams a Ryu-centric match, like having Ken's theme play, but you know what, this is a catchy song I have it enabled for a reason, so can't really complain. Anyway, so the odd thing about this stage is I don't actually know how good it is for Ryu. Like, obviously, if I'm on the right side, I'll be okay, but Ryu's recovery is really weird. Also, Ryu obviously has these Street Fighter commands that you can put in to make your attack stronger, and, like, I can do them, but I can only do- oh, well, I guess I just did one there. I can really only do them if I'm facing to the right. If I'm facing to the left, I get super psyched out. And for some reason, all of these characters want to take this state want to take this fight to the left side of the stage. So, I don't know, whatever. Okay. So, yeah, uh, and sometimes when I try to do these Street Fighter combos, I'll do the wrong one by mistake. But I do know how to do them. They all essentially involve uh, half circles, Te technically speaking. Like, I guess there's one where, like, you go on a Z formation, but... You can do all of them by a half circle, and the way I remember which one is which is based on which side the analog stick ends on. Ooh! Yes, I did it! I did the close-up final smash! I usually, like, never pull that one off, though it doesn't even matter because nobody really died. Yeah, usually, 
So Ryu has two final smashes. One's a super Hadouken and the other one's a close-up one, which is the one I just did. The, sh the Shin Shoryuken, I think is what it is. Well, I almost... In fact, I've never pulled off the Shin Shoryuken. So that's cool. I did it. Huzzah! Okay. Uh, that, I guess it's easier to pull off. Ah! It matches with this many players, right? Alright, there we go. And I know Ryu has strong and weak attacks based on how long you hold down the button. I know which one's which. Oh. Well, I wasn't trying to do that attack, but I did it. Sometimes when I try to do these half circles, like I said, I'll do the wrong attack and Ryu will do like a smash attack or something. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm going to wait over here for a second because like I said, I can't really do Ryu's input commands while facing to the left. Like, like I, sometimes things just come out and I'm pushing buttons at this point. Either way, I just hope that Ryu in some fashion wins because I want to hear his victory theme. I want to see his victory screen, darn it. Okay. There we go. Alright, actually that's not the one I was trying to do, but I'll take it. You can tell if I'm doing the Street Fighter variation or the regular variation based on how Ryu shouts. So he can do Hadouken if you just push the B button, but he'll shout Hadouken if you do the Street Fighter command. So, that's how you know. He'll shout the attack as opposed to just saying it if you input the Street Fighter command. And then it's stronger and yada yada yada. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, my amiibo partner's out. Alright, well that's fine. I'll go ahead and get the Smash Ball again. I... Wow! Ah, no hope. And my amiibo didn't even take my stock, which I guess is a generous offer, a, a generous move. But it's like, dude, I need you back in here. Alright, well, out of the way. Ah, oh, I just want to get to Ryu's victory screen, darn it. I mean, like, I'd be happy if my amiibo won, but I want Ryu's victory theme. Come on, why does the one I have to lose has to be the one where I can potentially hear my favorite victory screen? I guess theoretically in any of them I could have heard my my favorite victory screen because Ryu has been in all the matches, but whatever. Alright, sword fighters with my bare hands. You know, the punch is mighty in the sword! Doc Lewis said that and Doc Lewis is great! There we go. Alright, let's get the let's get these Street Fighter combos in here. So let's shoot these red Hadoukens at you. Ah, uh, nope. Alright, here. Yeah, nope, nope. I'm doing them all wrong. I can never do them if I'm moving, which I don't think I'm supposed to. Alright, Ike's out and Ike's- oh, I was about to say Ike's not taking a stock from Roy, but he just did it. Okay. All right, you know, mate. Let's worry less about the Street Fighter combos and more about just staying alive. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can get to Ryu's victory screen. I'm alive, baby. Bring it on, Eichenhauer. Ah. All right, your recovery is not too good, but it's good enough to get you back onto the stage. Oh, the victory screen. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's okay. I'm happy my amiibo won. All right, you know what? It's fine. My amiibo are learning. So, for the remainder of the video, each of these matches shall be four on four matches. And actually, you know, I wasn't originally planning to do this right now, but now I'm tempted to do so while I have all the amiibo here. Let's see how my amiibo do in a four on four match now before they're fully trained. Let's see. And later in this video, I'll, all of these team matches will, will be four on four team matches in which... The opposing team entirely consists of amiibo, but let's see how this one plays out. So let's, um, okay, so we need to have a Ryu CPU, a Roy CPU, an Ike CPU, and I guess I'm going to play as Little Mac, so we may as well have a Little Mac CPU in there. Alright, uh, you can be that one, I guess. And then I will be good old Wireframe Green Jacket Mac. And you know what? Let's go to Big Battlefield, because how often do I get to play on that stage, right? This should be fun! Yeah! Big Battlefield! This is this is actually a really good stage for 8-player Smash. And I know that's why it exists, but this and the Great Cave Offensive are my two favorite 8-player Smash stages. I just And uh, Hyrule Castle, I guess. I'm sorry, not Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Temple. Those are probably my three favorite 8-player Smash stages. Anyway, here we go. I have different music on Big Battlefield than I do on regular Battlefield. On Big Battlefield, I have Trophy Rush enabled as a song. And I think that's so fitting for a chaotic match like this. Okay, I've got a KO punch ready. And I completely blew my chance. It's an eight-player battle. I had the opportunity to hit four people, and I ruined it. Gosh darn. What is the matter with me? Well, that's okay. I find that Little Mac is really good in eight-player matches, especially like what I did just there. And I'm going to die. Well, I still think that Little Mac is really good in eight-player matches because... Little Mac has quick and powerful smash attacks, and using smash attacks is great in these matches because chances are, if you just use a smash attack, it is extremely likely that you'll hit somebody. <laughs> Especially when everyone's so cluttered together like this. Alright, my Ryu amiibo is doing stuff. Alright, there we go. Okay, I've got another KO punch ready. Here we go. 
and uh, okay and I ruined it again darn it oh we've got a smash ball this one I end well and you know I don't know if you guys can see it but there there are certain points in this match where the game actually is slowing down ever so slightly like this is a game that commonly runs at 60 frames per second and it's dropping a few frames here or there and quite honestly I'm surprised that eight player smash is a function in this game like I'm surprised it runs as well as it does and to think that I could have items on and all sorts of crazy things going on it that's insane so I'm not gonna say like oh the game's bad because it's not running out of perfect 60 frames per second for most of this I'm just saying if you see frames dropping that's the game trying to load all of this information <laughs> all right you though you'll probably only see it if you're watching the video at 60 frames per second if you're watching this at like you know 30 if you're watching this under 720p uh, you probably will not see the frames dropping so you probably have no idea what I'm talking about point is seeing this in person there's a lot of stuff going on in the game slowing down slightly as a result oh okay and I have not landed a single KO punch I'm ruining everything though oh, it's tough to say who's winning technically the CPU I know it's technically really close right now okay ah oh, yeah Ah, I'm coming back down. Here I come. Here I am. I'm gonna, ah, okay, you know, it's fine. Here we go. Oh, this little max CPU is causing some damage. You better not kill me with the throw. That's what I thought. Here I come. Come back. Come on, Roy. Help me out here. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome job, Roy. Just gotta get one good smash. Like, ooh, the smash ball can make all the difference. Okay, and I got a KO. It doesn't even matter. Didn't even get to use the KO punch. That's what I'm talking about, though. All right. Ooh, what a cool victory screen. That looks really cool. Woo! Okay. Roy, I can Ryu. I will train you guys off screen. And when they're all done being trained, when they're all at level 50, I will come back and I will resume this video with some more four-on-four -four team battles. It should be a lot of fun. Okay? We're good? Good? All right. See you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay, it's time. My amiibo are trained up. Each of them is now level 50. Roy, Ryu, Ike, all level 50. And you know what that means. That means it's time for me to do a bunch of four-on-four -four battles. Eight-player matches, all that good stuff, which means I have to tap in a bunch of amiibo. So please excuse me while I lean over and get all of them. So I'm going to tap them in like this. Roy, Ike, Ryu. Okay, so first off, let's... Fight some Smash 64 characters. Well, uh, uh, first let me set this to teams. Okay, we're gonna be green team. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing all sorts of battles in this video, and I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to start things off by facing off against characters that originated from the original Super Smash Brothers game. So, let's get Mario in there. Let's get Link in there. Let's get Kirby in there. And let's get Pikachu in there, and I'll. Uh, there we go, and I'll set the I'll set the teams accordingly in just a second. As for my character, I guess I'll go ahead and be Rosalina, and I'll go ahead and put them on red team. That way, I can in I can at least try to distinguish them apart. It could be hard to tell, regardless, but I'll do what I can. All right, three stocks, four on four. Let's do it. And I figured it would only make sense to go to a stage that's from the Nintendo 64 version of the game. So let's go to Dreamland 64, perhaps the most iconic and memorable stage from the game, and it's back again. So let's do it. This should be fun, my amiibo level 50 four on four team battles. Oh, it should be fun. <sighs> I don't think I have done an eight player battle here. Have I? I don't, I don't think so. So this should be interesting. Oh, and team attack is off if you guys couldn't tell. Anyway, as for my characters, I'm playing as Rosalina right now. In later matches, I'll cycle through my mains. So I'll become Little Mac next time, and then I'll be Lucario, and then Yoshi, and yada yada yada. I'll go in that cycle. I just figured I may as well start as Rosalina right now. Should be interesting. Should be interesting enough. Okay, I am trying to keep track of my character. I apologize if my commentary is incredibly sloppy. Let's try. It. Okay. Oh, nah. Ha ha. All right, come here, Linky boy. All right, you know I'll just get whoever. I'm not specifically targeting anybody, but I'm just gonna try to do what I can. All right, can I get Pikachu? Can I get Pikachu? Evidently, I cannot. I cannot. What? What just happened? What happened? So, oh, so like, did Mario cape me? And Link's boomerang like shot me. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. I'm, I got star. I got a smash ball. Everyone's gonna explode in a second. There we go. Okay. I think everybody on red team died. So between myself just flying off the stage and myself getting a smash ball and destroying everybody, I can already tell that this is going to be one heck of a chaotic session. 
but I'll do whatever I can to lead my team of new amiibo to victory. I like all my amiibo, so even if I lose right now, I'm losing to other amiibo that I've trained. So no matter what, I guess it would mean that I've trained my amiibo well, right? But I guess the main focus is to make sure that I don't lose. So let's do what I can. So far, we are winning. We are winning by a considerable amount. So that's good. Okay, I just had to open my mouth. You can't even see me die properly. I'm down to my last stock. But rest assured, all of my amiibo have more than one. All of the amiibo on my team anyway have more than one stock, so I can always steal a stock if need be. Uh, actually, no. Ike's now down to one stock. But, uh, either way, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll get him. I'm just look at this. This is, this is a cluster right here. We are just this is just getting ridiculous, <laughs> which I guess is the intent. I'm just hoping that I can continue to play and commentate properly. I'll just do what I can. Ah! Oh, whoa! I'm out. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm taking a stock. Sorry about this, Roy, but I think it's more helpful if I join back in on the battle, right? Because it would be four against three otherwise, and hopefully a human player with with no artificial intelligence, with just pure natural intelligence, can aid out the battle. So here we go. Come on, Kirby. Ah, uh, okay, I made it back. Oh, Roy's out! Darn it, now I feel bad, because I took the stock. Take Ryu stock! That's not gonna work. Alright. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. Now it's three against four regardless, and I just ruined the stock. You know, maybe the artificial intelligence was smarter than me. Alright. Come here, Pikachu, or Link, or something. Ah! I guess, as odd as it sounds, and this isn't meant to spite my Roy amiibo, it is surprisingly easier to see where I am now that one character is out of here. It is somehow significantly less chaotic. Oh, okay, it's just Ryu and myself. All right, Ryu, time for the world's greatest comeback. Here we go. I'm going to show that it was a good idea to have me back. All right, Ryu, time for the world's greatest, greatest comeback. You got to beat all of them. You're just as old as a majority of these characters. I mean, Mario and Link are still older than you, but you're older than Pikachu at the very least. I think you're older than Kirby. I need to double check that. All right, look at that. See, Kirby's just a fan of you. You can do it! Ryu! Oh! Oh, I just had to get stage spiked, didn't you? Well, you can't beat the classics, right? Mario, Link, Kirby, Pikachu, the staples of the Super Smash Bros. franchise! And the four most iconic Nintendo characters, debatably. Well, that's okay. That's just one team battle. There are plenty of team battles soon to come in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and save the data of this battle to each of my amiibo. That'll take a couple seconds, so I'll go ahead and do that off screen, and I'll go ahead and cut ahead to my next amiibo battle. Whoosh! Okay, so in the previous match, I played off against characters who first appeared in Super Smash Bros. 64. Now it's time for me to play against characters who first appeared in Super Smash Bros. Melee! So here we go, these are the four amiibo characters that I have that are based on Melee characters. It should be fun, and I figured, well, I went to a 64 stage with the 64 characters, so let's go to a Melee stage with the Melee characters. Temple! The Zelda Temple! is perhaps one of the most memorable stages in Super Smash Bros. Melee, for better or for worse. But you know what? It makes a w it makes for a wonderful eight-player Smash stage. Now, it's probably not the best idea- whoa, whoa! I didn't even know I was off to the right. It's probably not the best idea that I'm Little Mac on this stage. This is technically not a very good Little Mac stage, but you know what? I said I normally play as Rosalina, and now I'm going to play as Little Mac, and the only two other stages I could have picked for Melee stages were Onet and Yoshi's Island. And I thought that this one made the most sense since Ness is not in this match and Yoshi is not in this match. But Zelda is. Zelda is definitely in this match. And like I said, uh, Hyrule Temple is a very memorable Smash stage. For better or for worse. Okay, so. Spelda, Balsor, Falco, and Game and & Smash are my opponents right here. Yeah, you can see how ridiculous my names are. There we go. Knocking stocks all of, out of all of you. That's what I'm talking about. And I've got a KO punch. Okay, uh, let's make sure I can use this properly. Come down here, Spelda, or Bowser, or either of you. Uh, I'm already out of it, whatever. Ha! Huh! Okay, so these characters, you know, truth be told, in this Smash game, all four of these characters are, like, good in their own right, but they're not good when compared to other characters. Like, oh, Bowser's gonna get it. Like, in this game, this is the best that Bowser and Mr. Game Watch have ever been. Zelda? Well, Zelda is usually an unfortunate character who is generally not deemed to be very good, though recent balance patches have made her better. And Falco has, like, fluctuated back and forth between being good and bad. I don't know, like, he was really good in Melee, he was considered okay in Brawl, and in this game, I guess he's still okay? I don't know. It's weird. The Melee characters got weird treatment in this game. Ah, uh, some of them are really good, some of them are okay. I don't know. 
I guess it doesn't really mean much. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are okay. Hmm. This is the best Bowser's ever been, though. And, you know, like, Sheik is considered to be one of the best characters in the game when she first appeared in Melee. But, ah! On the flip side, like, Zelda is still not that good. And, ah, uh, who else first appeared in Melee? Oh, like, and Peach is still considered to be very good. Peach has been good in, like, every Smash game that she's been in. Oh. Oh, I don't know what else to tell you. There we go. Okay, Bowser is out. He's taking a stock. Yep, that's tr tr typical Bowser behavior. I'm gonna wait down here. Come on down here, guys. This is the fight zone. I need to. I need to get. A, I need to get you guys down here, so I can show you guys why Little Mac can actually be somewhat decent on the stage. But yeah, other melee characters like if Ice Climbers were still in this game, I'm sure they'd be phenomenal. If, uh, you know, like Roy's good. Roy's good. You know, and. Like, Dr. Mario's back, but, like, Dr. Mario is just, like, he's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Melee made a lot of characters, like, really good, and then Brawl made a lot of them really bad, and then this game made him, like, good again. It was weird. Except Falco! Except Falco! And, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. There we go. Now we're in the fight zone. This is the type of match I was more so expecting. All right, I'm about to get a KO punch ready. Okay, Bowser is out. He's taking another stock. Bowser, man, taking all those stocks, buddy. You know, it's fine. As long as we win, that's what counts, right? Let's go. Come on now. Huh. Okay, I've got a KO punch. Bowser, no! Okay, you were being smart. You were using the stage design to your advantage. Okay. It's fine. My team is still winning. We have not had to take stocks off of each other yet. We have not had to share stocks. Okay. Falco is completely out, and Balzor, you no longer have the ability to take stocks off of anybody. Alright, game and smash. If I could just smash attack you once, you're gonna be gone. You're a super light character. Ha! Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, that was it! That was it! Okay, cool. Ha! Ah, again, such a cool victory screen. Alright, so I did smash 64 characters, and I did smash melee characters. Now I guess it only makes sense to have Smash Brawl characters, so let me tap all of these amiibo back real quickly, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay. And then, Rab! Here we go! Here are the four characters that I shall be using to represent Super Smash Bros. Brawl, tapped in the order in which they they were unveiled for the game. So, Sonic, King DDD. Olimar and Rob. Definitely an interesting set. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was an interesting time. Oh, by the way, I'm going to play as Lucario, who is coincidentally also a Brawl character. I was originally going to tap in my Lucario amiibo for this match, but since I'm going to be playing as Lucario, I felt like it didn't make sense to have two Lucario on the stage. As for the stage I should be playing, I've got a couple of options I can play on, but I figured, oh, right, only Omega Halberd works. Never mind. Well, all right, let's do Pokemon Stadium 2 then. That would have been the stage I would have played on if I tapped in my Lucario amiibo here. I definitely want to play on a Super Smash Bros. Brawl stage, so let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, anyway, Super Smash Bros. Brawl was just an interesting time. I feel like Super Smash Bros. 64 had, like, okay, the iconic characters at the time. Super Smash Bros. Melee just figured, okay, what are some of the most popular characters we can include at this point in time? Like, let's expand on the franchises, so... Obviously, Melee had to add Bowser and Peach and... And, uh... You know, like, it, it, it just expanded upon the game. Like, okay, this is what Smash was supposed to be, yada, yada, yada. And then Super Smash Bros. Brawl was like, okay, who are all of Nintendo's all-stars throughout history? And what kind of diverse movesets can we do? Like, Super Smash Bros. Brawl focused more on adding characters and finding attacks that would be fitting to that character, right? And then Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U just focused on, like, creating the most quirky and dynamic characters you could get. So these characters definitely feel like Brawl characters. Does that make sense? Like, these characters all have diverse and unique movesets, but they're not, like, quirky. Like, yeah, that's how a robot would fight. Yeah, that's how King Dedede would fight. Yeah, that's how Sonic would fight. In comparison to something like, I don't know, Pac-Man in this game, who friggin' throws pellets and fruit at people, or Little Mac, who could have easily just been a boxer, but instead he's super strong on the ground and super weak in the air. I don't know, like, Smash 4 has gimmicky characters, Brawl has the all-stars, uh, Melee has, like, the, 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 the most iconic of the iconic characters, and Smash 64 was the founding characters. Does that make sense? I don't know, it's been a while talking about this. We're on Pokemon Stadium 2. In 8-player Smash, Pokemon Stadium 2 does not transform between the different variations of the stage, whereas if you're playing this with 4 or less players, the stage will transform into ice and... 
a ground variant. There we go. I got Sonic. How do you like that? So, probably not the best stage to play in eight-player Smash, especially since it's not entirely representative of how it was in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But then again, Super Smash Bros. Brawl didn't even have eight-player Smash, so I don't really know. Because my other options could have been Norfair, which doesn't load the lava in eight-player Smash. Mario Circuit Brawl, which does not load the Shy Guys in eight-player Smash. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, in which you cannot break the mansion in eight-player Smash. <laughs> or the Omega versions of a lot of other stages. And, uh, and of course, Omega versions didn't exist in Super Smash in, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, I'm, I'm ruining everything. So I figured, like, th this, this is what I could do, okay? This is, what I, this is what I had to work with. And, you know, I hope that's okay. <laughs> I figured, at least as a Pokemon character in this match. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of like running all over the place. I'm just talking, not really aware of what my actions are. Just kind of playing the game and hoping that stuff happens. Technically, King Dedede would be the easiest target to go for. I mean, he's the heaviest, and I mean, he hits me hard. But of course, Lucario gets stronger, the higher his percentages. So every time King Dedede hits me hard, I can hit him back even harder. We got Aura Spheres. Hopefully, that'll do something. There we go. People are exploding over there. Oh wait, no, that was my own teammate that exploded. That's not good. Never mind. And I guess this Olimar. Amiibo of mine just like knows to throw his Pikmin away so that he can recover more quickly. I don't recall ever teaching him that, but I'm glad that he knows to do that. In case you guys don't know, it's a lot easier for Olimar to recover if he has no Pikmin near him. So I guess my Amiibo figured that out, and it's just fighting accordingly. Alright, anyway. Uh, Amiibo Olimar is out. Okay, so about to get Rab. Rab is out! Now I've just got D-King and Speedster, and we can definitely get them. We can definitely get D-King. He's strong, but he's also slow. So we'll definitely get him. We got the fast character, D-King. Oh, oh, this is a massacre. Four against one. I, I kind of feel bad, to be honest. But hey, as long as my amiibo are learning, that's what counts. Okay, come here, D-King. Here. Uh, I can't really spike you. Uh, okay, go for it. My back air is really good. Oh, oh, that's it. The match is over! We have won! How do you guys like that? We is victory thing! Ari's victory theme is so good, and that ending pose looks so good with like Ry Ryu and Lucario standing up front all calm and serious. And then the sword fighters, Roy and Ike standing in the back. Ooh, I think that's the coolest victory screen so far. Especially since it has Ryu's victory theme playing. I'm sorry if I talked over some of it, but ah, oh, that victory theme is so catchy. Okay, so I played a Smash 64. I played against Smash 64 characters. I played against Smash Melee characters. I played against Smash Brawl characters. Now let's play against a whole bunch of newcomers. So, like for a majority of the previous match, I talked about how quirky the newcomers are in this game. It would be so easy to just put characters like Little Mac in this game. When you've got characters like Pac-Man and Duck Hunt, that just shows that this game was meant to have a bunch of characters that were like rule breakers and quirky. And of course, let's play on a new stage. So let's play on Duck Hunt. This stage will actually function properly. It'll make no difference if you're playing on this stage with eight players or zero players. The dog will still come up. The stage layout will still be the same. I think, okay, I think there is a difference. I think that ducks don't fly around if there's eight players, but I think the dog can still come up. I don't, I don't 100% remember. But hey, this is a fun stage. I really like this stage a lot. I'm glad that duck kind of even being represented in this game. You know, maybe the dog doesn't come up. Never mind. Maybe the stage is altered. But either way, I figured it made sense to go on the duck hunt stage because duck hunt is in this match. Okay, anyway, so, quirky characters, Pac-Man's quirky, Mega Man's quirky, Little Max quirky, Duck Hunt's quirky, they're all quirky! The only, the only thing that's like, I guess would make sense is Mega Man's moveset, because anybody who thought Mega Man should be in this game would easily say, yeah, his attack should be based on all of the robot master powers that he gets, right? So, I don't know. I went on this whole topic about how the characters in this game all have like a rule breaking mechanic or a mechanic that you would not see in, a, in another Smash game. Like, even Ryu! Okay, Ryu, it could have been so easy to just put him in the game with the default moveset that he has, but the reason he's, you know, a Smash 4 character, a quirky character, is because he has two movesets and two final smashes! Okay, he has his Street Fighter moves and his regular moves. You can play him as a Smash character or you can play him as a Street Fighter character. It's cool! Cloud? He has limit breaks! Bayonetta, she can shoot bullets after every freaking attack! Ah, uh, anyway. Good job, Ike. Awesome. Oh, Mega Man didn't die. Don't worry, I'll go get him. I'll get him. Ah, unless he gets me first. Anyway, 
I'm sorry to talk so much about the differences between each of the characters, but I think it's really cool how you can really look at the characters and say, yeah, that's a Brawl character, or yeah, that's a Melee character. And of course, a lot of characters were changed between Melee, Brawl, and this game. Like, obviously, Bowser is much different in this game than he was in Super Smash Bros. Melee and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But for the most part, you can look at the characters. Like, you can look at Peach and say, yeah, that's a Super Smash Bros. Melee character. Or you can, you can look at Marth and say, yeah, that's a Super Smash Bros. Melee character. And you can look at... Pac-Man and say, yeah, that's a Super Smash Brothers Brawl or that's a Super Smash Brothers 4 character, not a Super Smash Brothers Brawl character, what am I thinking? Huh, okay. So, I hope, I hope that whole conversation makes sense, because I've spent most of the video talking about it. Huh, <sighs> okay. Mm. My little Mac Amiibo does make me nervous on a stage like this. My little Mac Amiibo has, like, trouble recovering, I guess it doesn't know when to use side B or when to use up B, but man, when he hits, he hits hard, he knows when to dodge, when to counter, he knows how to do everything else, except use his KO punch, and and know when to counter. Ah, oh, I'm out of stocks. I just gotta hope that my amiibo can do this. Okay, it's all up to shore. You can. Uh, wow. Wow, we got dominated. Well, I'm glad that my older amiibo still have some spunk to them. This quirky team of fighters definitely knows how to win a match. And it's interesting to see a yellow team victory screen every once in a while, since yellow team is exclusive to 8-player Smash. So, cool stuff. Okay, so at this point, I don't... At this point, right, I don't have too many more amiibo, but I figured I do still have four amiibo that are based on characters that they viewed in Super Smash Bros. 64. So, let's do another 64-themed match. I don't know, I'm gonna be Rosalina again. We'll be green team. Alright. And then you guys, oh, no, no, okay. Not yellow team. You guys can be blue team, yeah, because you guys are mostly blue in color. All right, and then I guess it only makes sense to go to another Smash 64 stage, right? And thankfully, every Smash 64 stage in this game supports eight players. So let's go ahead and go to Peach's Castle. I mean, I, you know, I paid like three bucks to have the stage available in my game, so I may as well take use of the opportunity to play on it, right? Plus, there is a Mario character in this match. We got Luigi, all right? And you know, I never really knew how much I enjoyed the stage until I actually put it in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, so... And Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo for the US. I never realized how much I enjoyed the stage until they brought it back. So, it is fun stuff, and I do appreciate that uh, we do have the original Smash 64 theme playing on the stage. Because I do have another song that can play on the stage, but I, I am glad that we have the Smash 64 song playing. It's good stuff. Okay, anyway. Blue team versus green team. Characters of all versus characters of new, I guess. I mean, Ryu's about as old as most of these characters. I, oh, wow, what happened? I, I was out of a jump, I guess? Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, this is a fairly interesting match. Uh, oh, wait, I, I'm just remembering Ness is in this match, and I'm Rosalina. I could destroy Ness if I wanted to. In fact, I probably should aim for him. I could, I could throw Ness off of the stage and use my down me to absorb his recovery and just defeat him, though. So, I am getting destroyed! Wow! My amiibo were vicious! Vicious, I say! I did not want to get on the landmaster. Get away from me, Fox. Oh, this is not working. My amiibo are destroying me. Thankfully, sure, you can still have three stocks at Fox. Oh, man. If team attack was on, you guys would be done. Alright, come here. Anybody, anybody. Okay, you know, let's get, let's, let's go for Ness. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Alright, well, Ness is out. Cool, I'll get whatever at this point. Uh, yeah. Luigi Amiibo, no way he's gonna die on this stage. Luigi is very good at recovering. At least if you know how to do it properly. I do not, but Luigi has some artificial intelligence in him, in him so I'm fairly certain he'll know how to do things properly. Okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, Captain Falcon, if you could just get knocked off of here, that would be great. Yeah, Luigi's gonna make it. Luigi has three forms of recovering in this game. He has his down B, side B, and up B, and he can use all of them to get back onto the stage, and my Amiibo's gonna know how to do it, too, so if you wanna kill Luigi, you just gotta hit him hard. Alright, alright, Ness, Ness, now's the time. Uh, back off, okay. I just need to hit you, like, just enough so you're forced to use your recovery. Okay, this'll do it. And down B! There we go! Oh, I hit him again by accident. That's not what I wanted to do! That's okay, he's not gonna make it back, either. Alright, I'm taking the stock. Don't know if it's the best idea to do that, but I'm taking the stock, that's just what I'm gonna do. Nessie took a stock, too. Oh, no, 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 Nessie... Nessie had three stocks. I don't even know anymore. Maybe it was just me that took a stock. Either way, I got a stock off of him. I sacrificed myself in the process. But I feel like Ness could be pretty vicious otherwise. Ness's recovery is particularly tricky to do. But because it's an amiibo and it has some artificial intelligence in it, 
It's always gonna make it back. Oh, I'm gonna make it! Oh no, I self-destructed! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I could have made it. All right, sorry to take another stock, guys, but I gotta do it. And that could have been my opportunity to down B Ness's recovery, but oh well. Oh, we are getting pulverized. Ah, this is a lot more close than it needs to be. Oh, everyone's just getting knocked all over the place. All right, come on, Captain Falcon. Come here, dude. Come on, Captain Punch. I've called you by your nickname throughout the entirety of the match. Oh, Roy's out. I took all of his stocks. I'm sorry. I'm absorbing this. No, Nessie. You were supposed to be out of here. I was absorbing your up B, darn it. All right. Well, yeah, uh, so Blue Eiji's going to make it back. Anybody else I can get without self-destructing. Ooh, a smash ball. This could be my chance to make a comeback. Oh, of course Fox is the one that got it. He's going to destroy all of us. He's going to get all of us right now. Oh. All right, sure, you can. It's just you and me, buddy. Okay. Wow. I am surprised I made it out of that. Wow. And just like that, it's two on two. Okay, sure, you can. You got to do it. Oh, you got Captain Punch. All right, you just got to get Ness. He's at a high percentage. You're at a low percentage. And he's absorbing it. That Ness Amiibo is smart. Come on, sure, you can. You're smart. You know how to do it. Uh, you can do it. Do you know how to do the Street Fighter combos? I hope so. Let's see. Uh, nah, training a Ryu amiibo is weird. Does it know how to use the strong and the weak attacks? Street Fighter commands. Ooh! Ooh! Just the right trajectory to knock him out of there. Wow! That was really awesome. Is it going to be Ryu's victory theme? Yes, it is. I'm going to be quiet. Oh, that's a cool victory theme. That's a cool victory scream, but it's a shame that I'm blocking off Roy. Sorry, Roy. You were really helpful, though, I promise. <sighs> okay. Only a few amiibo left to show, and then this video will come to a close. But for now, i got to cut ahead. So see you guys in just a moment. Whoosh! Okay. So I only have three amiibo left to show, and that's Rosalina, Lucario, and Yoshi. And so I needed a fourth amiibo to show. And naturally, I could have used my Little Mac amiibo so I could be playing off against my four mains in Smash 4. But what I decided instead was... Well, I was going to play as Little Mac this match because of my cycle of my mains. Like, I played as Rosalina in the last match, so I was to play as Little Mac this match. So, I decided that the fourth amiibo that shall be on my opponent's team should be Fox, because I mained him in Super Smash Bros. 64, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So, with Fox being in the match, and with Roy being in the match, this is essentially all of my mains. Or all of my main mains, I guess. Like, I guess I used... Captain Falcon and Smash 64, and I used Ice Climbers and Brawl. But hey, this is this is as good as it gets, man. This is crazy, and I figured let's end this on good old regular Battlefield. And I figured since these are since I'm playing against my mains, they should be green team, and will be blue team. Though it is taking me out that we are blue team. I'm not used to going after the green players. I've got a KO punch. Let's see if I can land it. Nope, I missed. Anyway, I'm not used to going after the green team, but I figured it just made sense to put them on green team because if they were on blue team, I'd still be psyched out. Uh, okay, I made it. Cool. Mm. Alright, just gotta land a powerful smash attack on some of them. None of them have counters. Uh, well, actually, no, Lucario has a counter. What am I thinking? In fact, Lucario is, te is technically at an advantage. Lucario is my only amiibo to have equipment on it. Because I entered him at a tournament once. And my strategy on my Lucario amiibo got me into the top eight of the tournament. So he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. It's just how will he do in an eight player smash match? And furthermore. How will he do uh, on Battlefield? Oh, I got people out of it. I survived, and I got people in the process. That was great. Okay, let's go. I'm just trying to keep track of my character. Uh, mm. Yeah, my Lucario Amiibo is strong, and if you're curious, he does have a piece of equipment on him that allows him to restore percentage every couple of seconds, so he can deal a powerful blow because his percentage is high, and then he can easily just heal himself. And then, of course, the equipment makes him stronger and faster, too. There's not really any faults that he has. He's well-rounded. He's strong, fast, and more defensive. So I just got to be careful with him. Mm. Okay. Well, so far, looks uh, looks like my team is winning. Okay. Cairo is getting knocked all over the place. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Come here, guys. Come here. So you got to land some powerful smash attacks on you. Okay. I got a KO punch. Can I land this? Finally, please. Let's go. Let's see. Nope. Never can. Probably never will in this video. Alright. I know I'm just grunting a bunch of times trying to make sure I can get back onto the stage. And like I mentioned earlier in this same match, fighting against green team is psyching me out. Okay. I'm down to my last stock. But thankfully, sure you can still has three. 
They're all down to the last one, so I think we should be fine. All right, there we go. Let's do it. Uh. Uh. There we go. That did something. Well, actually, no, it didn't. It, 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 only one of my teammates died. Never mind. Oh, who has it? Of course it's Fox. Oh, of course it's you. And it's on Battlefield, the smallest eight-player Smash stage. Okay, there we go. Uh. I'm okay. I'm ready to just run back in and get everybody. I could have waited for the final smash to end, but I felt like maybe I should spam invincibility frames for the last couple of seconds of it so I can just run in and smash everybody. All right. Santa Rose is out. Wow, I just now realized that. All right. Just got to get Kyra, Black Yoshi, and St. R. Fox. Ah. There we go. Got Black Yoshi. Got to get Kyro. We did it. Awesome job, team. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. And it's reused victory theme. Oh, now that's a cool victory theme. The people who fight with their hands up front with the sword fighter standing in the back, Little Mac and Ryu next to each other. That is a cool victory theme. Or victory screen. It's also a cool victory theme, but man. Okay, so earlier I was like griping about how I couldn't really get to hear Ryu's victory theme, and now we've heard it a bunch of times now. Anyway, okay. So I said I'd start this match with a free-for-all, and I said I'd end this match with a free-for-all. So let's do just that. I could do this as a team battle, but nah, I guess I don't really need to, right? There's not really much of a point to doing it this way. It just makes things more complicated. And whoever the winner is, it'll say the team name and not the character name. So I'm going to go ahead and be Rosalina. I could have been Lucario because he would have been the next character I would use according to my cycle of mains. But you know what? Let's, let's end this match like the same way it started. So I'm going to be Rosalina. Facing off against the same characters, and it's a free-for-all. It's technically not a team battle, okay? So let's do it. And, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of the same Miiverse drawings, but maybe one or two of them will be different because it has been a couple of hours since I recorded the first match. So let's see what happens. They're definitely stronger, and the music's different this time. I've got the Wii Shop channel playing. No, the Miiverse drawing is the same. I remember that chun -Li picture. Ah, and if we get the cool Rosalina art. Hmm, was that one there before? I think so. I think these are the same Miiverse pictures, which is fine, because I recall liking a lot of the Miiverse drawings earlier. Though I wish Roy to Royal Victory. Oh, see, that guy is making the same pun that's in my Amiibo's name. I guess I really am just not clever. All right. Ah, this is definitely a much more aggressive fight than when I first thought than when I first fought them, which is good. I'm glad that they have been learning. Oh, oh, come on. Wow. Stage spiked, and then that resulted in me self-destructing. Wow. Okay, so I think one or two of these pictures are new. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. Maybe one or two of them are new, but for the most part, these are the same. That's okay. It has only been a couple of hours, so chances are only one or two pictures would show up between that time anyway. Uh, okay. Let's go. Mm. Right, I guess I gotta rely a little less on smash attacks and more on uh, throws. And I can't really... Oh, yeah, this is totally the same Miiverse me pictures as before. I can't read what that Ryu one says. All right, you guys will have to read it on your own time. Okay. I'm down to my last stock already? Wow, I'm just now realizing that. Wow. Vicious and ferocious bunch. And that's it. I'm out. I'm out. So the, the result of this is definitely going to be way different than the other matches. Ooh, though that Ike and Little Mac pictures. And, or that, I'm sorry, that's not Ike. That's Ryu. Ugh. You must defeat my sure you can to stand a chance. That's a cool picture, actually. I like that a lot. Lin is better. Yep, I remember that. Okay, so the results of this match will definitely be different from the first one. Ooh, let's see who gets the smash ball. It is Ike! He lands it! He got the final smash! Sure you can! You, can, you gotta get out of there, buddy! Uh, Alright, well, he didn't die. What's a god to a non-believer? Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm, part of me is hoping that Ryu will win so I can hear his victory theme one more time because you guys know how much I like that, but it could be anyone's game. Roy can make a comeback. Ike's recovery is not too good. You know, it, you'll never know what'll happen. So let, we'll just have to wait and see. It is nice to play on the Miiverse stage. Sure, you can lose the stock. Anyway, just stop jumping from topic to topic. <laughs> Blanca made pound cake. That's it. That's an internet meme that even I know because that's an old one. I'd like some pwned cake. Get pwned, Greninja. I think you're in the wrong post, buddy. Who is that part of? All right, whatever. Here we go. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I have no idea. Roy Al looks like he's going to get knocked out, though. His percentage is abnormally high, though. His percentage is over 100%, so his attacks will deal more damage because of the rage effect that exists within this game. Let's see what they do. Oh, wait! Ryu just did the Street Fighter Shoryukens, as opposed to the Smash Shoryukens, so he definitely knows the Street Fighter inputs, which is good to see. 
Or here, I guess. I oh! Roy spikes him, but is unable to recover! Eichenhauer is the winner! Wow, that was a quick finish. Well, either way, great job, everybody! I am glad that my amiibo have definitely learned, and I'm glad that they have put on an amazing display for you guys today. Whew! I'm glad that they are in my collection. But alas, this video must now come to an end. So that wraps up this video of Smash It Up! And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I don't know if there will be future amiibo videos. There will definitely be videos in the future in which I'll use my amiibo. But in terms of videos that just focus on amiibo like this one, we'll have to wait and see. For now, I hope that this video was entertaining to you guys, and I hope to see you around in future videos. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey guys! Thank you so much for watching my video! If you enjoyed the video, then please consider checking out one of my other videos. On the screen right now, there are various videos and annotations. If you click on one, you'll be redirected to one of my other videos. I post new content every single day, so there's bound to be something that'll catch your interest. And hey, if you want to continue supporting me, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and announcements. It's free, and it really helps me out. Also, I have a Twitter account. I usually post announcements there, so if you want to know what my upcoming plans are, then I strongly advise that you check that out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you around in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!